Hello everyone, welcome back to CA Entertainment. I'm your host Don Hamilton, guys, and we are back with more revision video, guys. A little bit of a break, but we're back here now, and we're going to be doing A22 business studies to kick our, to kick us off. And we're going to be talking about international strategies using the Burnett and Gosho model. More or less, I said how businesses there's four different sides of how they can use these four different strategies to uh, operate on a global scale. So we're going to talk about these now. Uh, like I said, the model is the Burnett and Gosho, and this model is of international strategy. It will indicate different strategic options that businesses can use whenever they want to manage their international operations but is and the, the model is based on two factors known as local responsiveness and global integration so if there's a high pressure on global integration but a low pressure in local, local responsiveness then you'll have a global strategy but if you have low pressure in global integration and a low pressure in local responsiveness so low low it'll be an international strategy it'll be transnational if it's a high pressure in both and multi-domestic if it's high in local responsiveness and low in global integration you're confused right now because you don't know what local responsiveness and global integration are but i'm going to tell you so local responsiveness and global integration local responsiveness is about what the customers in each country expect the product is to be adapted like so obviously the product is going to, have to be different between the uk and the us it's going to be different so it's the, that local responding this is how does the local people in the in the country respond to the need do you have to adapt it and all that there also do local competitors have an advantage over you based on the ability to be more responsive will they find out all the market trends faster than you so that comes in local responding this as well global integration is the standardization of a product in order to operate efficient uh, efficiently that's to say is the product going to be the same everywhere and is consistent global brands required in order to achieve international success so basically does your brand need to be seen everywhere around the globe so we'll go through the different strategies one by one starting with the global strategy which has low local responsiveness and high global integration the key features of this is that your business is going to be highly centralized and will focus on efficiency and will not share the expertise in the local area and their products will be standardized so your transnational strategy, which is high high, this is one that does to try to stay away from if they can because of this high high. Uh, the key feature is that it's very complex to achieve, like I said, just for that reason. Uh, they aim to maximize local responsiveness and they share their wide, um, they, they they share their expertise uh, in local areas due to try and get this local responsiveness. The international strategy, which is low low, which is which the majority of uh, businesses is going to try and do because it's easier. And the key features of international strategy is that you can achieve efficiency on domestic activity, so what you're doing the whole market your international operation will be largely manned centrally so at the home headquarters and there will be little adaptation of the product to local needs as well so the multi-domestic strategy then which has high local responsiveness but low global integration the key feature is that you aim to maximize benefits by meeting local needs for extensive communication you make decisions uh, which are uh, not really within the home HQ area as it's decentralized and the local businesses will be treated as a separate business um, and then there'll be strategies for each country that they operate on. So it's not going to be on the home HQ to listen to all these strategies. It's going to be a different strategy for each country. Thank you for watching this video. A little bit of a short one on international strategy, but it's a nice one to break you in. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm Don Hamilton from CAR Entertainment, and I will see you next time.